Hello, fellow Catfish Academy members. Thought I'd come to you today and do a little discussion about rigs. And I know so many people use the, the Carolina rig. It seems to be one of the preferred rigs for, for many different things. But anyway, as I have sat here during this cold day, uh, of course it's warmed up now, it's about 34 degrees, and I was thinking about all the different rigs I've used while flatheading. And I am addressing this you know, to the flathead forum on Catfish Academy, that's about the only place it seems that I frequent, well, since that's what I do the most of. But, in thinking about what I've used in the past year or so, or maybe two, I've used anything from a pulley rig, uh, running paternoster, uh, straight paternoster, which is really nothing more than what is now called the drop shot rig that they use so often in bass fishing. And, I mean, there's a, a bit of a slant on it, whereas on the drop shot rig, they tie the hook on up the line with a Palomar knot. Whereas, what I call the padded noster, it was typically tied with a dropper loop attached to the hook, and then your sinker at the bottom. Now, as I've thought of these things, and especially like the, the Carolina rig and like the pulley rig and what have you, the, the thing I'm trying to get at here is trying to keep things as simple as possible. I know that all of you know how much time it takes, or at least it does for me, if you break a rig off and then having to retie that rig, especially when you have several knots, just like on the straight Carolina rig, the way most people tie it, you know, you'll have your <clears throat> sinker, whichever type you use on your main line, uh, either attached with a sinker slide or, you know, just running it through the sinker, like for an egg sinker or the walking type sinker, which a lot of times I use quite frequently because it tends not to hang up quite as readily on the bottom. But in tying all these knots, and like on the pulley rig, good grief, I think there's two, three, four, five, maybe five knots that you have to tie. Now, of course, you can simplify things and save time by pre-tying some rigs and already having some hooks snailed and what have you. But what I want to look at today, and I'm sure some of, you, some of you have seen it, and it is nothing new, but it's just getting back to the KISS principle of things, trying to keep things as simple as possible, and trying to utilize your time to the fullest in productive fishing rather than having to waste all this time retying rigs and then having to, you know, check knots and then another one break on you and so on. You know, a lot of times in tying the improved clinch knot, you know, if you don't get that knot just right, a lot of times if you don't test it, that thing will break, especially on light line. I've, I've seen that. But I have uh, done up a couple rigs here. There's still the the same rig but with a, a twist that probably many of you have seen. If you're new to fishing or what have you, you may not have. But where do I want to start? And what I've done is put these things on some very heavy cord, some braided uh, tarred nylon, and on this one, this is going to be the Carolina rig. And here the only difference is I have put a split shot in place of the swivel. And therefore I've eliminated 
two knots, which can save a lot of time. Now this, too, as I swing it over here, I've got a 10 10 out King Kale, or Calais, I like to call them, make it sound a little more uh, <laughs> French or Italian or something. But anyway, as you can see the rig, it's, it's just simple. Now, of course, people might be thinking about twist, and we know what twisting some catfish can do. I haven't had flatheads twist the way I have had uh, channel cats twist and get up on the surface and basically do a death roll. But that is one, and which I think will help simplify things. Now, another on the... The Paternoster rig, or drop shot, as I'm going to choose to call it here, I guess. Uh, of course, I'm so used to calling it Paternoster. But here you have your hook. Let me turn, get this thing turned right. Now, this is not a Palomar knot here. I just tied this for an example. I mean, this cord was too heavy to really try to do a Palomar. So I just got it in the configuration, though, that it would be. And it's tied on up the line with the uh, point of the hook facing towards the surface of the water rather than, you know, towards the bottom. Now, as I raise this up, raise the other part, you'll see I have an egg weight, an egg sinker there, and then with a split shot holding it. Now what this does, I mean it's pretty straightforward and should be able to understand, If, especially if you're fishing in rocks around riprap and what have you, and if you're fishing this style of rig and that fish takes off many times, this sinker will get caught in the rocks and you can end up just you know losing your fish and you know breaking the, the whole rig off or what have you. Well with this, and I've done it another way too, which I'll say something about here in a minute, but this way if that thing catches then that weight is going to pull off and you're not going to be hung and that fish is going to be free for you to reel him in. Now what I used to do is I would uh, take some copper wire and I'd loop it up and make a length that was long enough to go through the particular sinker that I was using, be it a teardrop uh, no-roll sinker. And then I would just bend that after I had run the wire through the no-roll, then just bend that wire over. And uh, the principle was the same. If it got hung up, <clears throat> when, it <clears throat> excuse me, when it pulled, finally it would straighten that wire out. Same principle. But this is simpler and quicker. No, <clears throat> no having to, what I was doing was stripping uh, some copper wire, then having to put uh, a circular loop in the top, which I would then tie this to, and then you had your straight piece of wire which ran through the sinker. So this, I just got to think about, well, that'd be so much simpler and quicker. All right, now, to the running padded noster. Now I've used this rig quite frequently. It's really just a takeoff of your basic Carolina rig with the exception that it keeps your bait above the bottom. Now here, as you can see, I use a sinker slide and then tied to the sinker slide clip, then I have the same configuration that I had on the, the drop shot, the regular pattern oster. So this still extends your bait above the bottom, but the, the twist on this is just like the Carolina rig, whereas just assuming for a second that the sinker slide here is your egg weight or no roll, whatever, when the fish pulls, see it's pulling through that and not feeling the weight as much. But here again, that depends on how the fish runs. A lot of people always talk about that the fish can't feel it. Well, it'll depend on which direction he runs. He could still end up pulling that weight. 
but if the fish was pulling directly away, as you can see, he's just going to be pulling through that sinker slide while that weight is still on bottom. And here again, depending upon whether he's taking it and going towards the surface or if he's going towards the bottom with it, well, he's not going to feel it. But if he's coming towards you and you've got some pressure here, he's still going to feel that weight. But this helps eliminate a lot of that. So, again, if you can see, it's just basically a Carolina rig, but with the sinker slide, and then whatever length you determine and what you can cast with most effectively and efficiently, uh, you know, this, this, this helps a lot. But it's a little more complicated because you are tying more knots. There's one knot to your hook, two knots to the swivel, and then three knots, no, well, then another knot, so that's four to what's on your sinker slide. So it is a bit more complicated. Now, I know how much time I've spent fishing and then have a rig, you know, break it off and then have to retie it, and I'm, I'm wasting valuable fishing time. But uh, anyway, these are just a, three rigs, and the pulley rig I won't get into. I mean, it's... Uh, it's more for surf casters than anything else, and we could still use that method, and I have used it with, uh, with some success, and it's uh, it's pretty neat setup. Uh, rather than me getting into it, go online and do a search on a pulley rig, and it's, it's pretty neat, and it keeps, but you couldn't fish live bait with it very well. Well, my guards went out on me. But uh, for pieces of uh, small pieces of cut bait, and the, the way this thing is rigged up, you've got one swivel tied to your main line, and another line through the bottom of that swivel, down to two more swivels. Now, like I say, just look it up. It's you can see it a lot better and understand it than I can explain it. But. Yep, there goes the phone. And anyway, I was about done with this. But uh, just wanted to share that with you guys there on Catfish Academy. And uh, I know we're all wishing for that uh, warm weather to come and the, the water to, to warm up. So, until the next time, this is Sinker, signing off.